God. Um, this is broken down New York State Regents exams. This one will be concentrating on solving radical equations. I only have three of them. Three of them. One, uh, two two-pointers and a four-point, and a six-pointer. So that six-pointer was a kind of a beast. Wasn't a bad problem, but was uh, not, a bad, not, a, not a great problem. So anyway, um, again, if you want to find these, you go, go to my website, mrkrausemath.com. There it is. Click on that, and then click on Regents Review. One of these will be where you want to go. It could be topic reviews. I might put it down here, Regents Broken Down or something like that. You know, broken down problems. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Once I uh, once I get that up there, I'll do that for you. But um, also, if you haven't gotten my flashcards yet, you can click right here on the directions on how to get them. It's using studyblue.com. It's free. You just go there. It'll ask you to log in. This should be the nice directions on how to get them. Um, ding, 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 ding. Come on, baby. Let's go. Boy, my internet must. Oh, because I'm uploading a video, so it must be going slow. Let's see where I. Uh, I'm only 46% of the way through that. So anyway, it's going really, really, really slow, even though I've got really fast internet, or i got decent fast internet. All right, well, there it is. It's going, it's going. I see it. All right. So again, I want you to click on uh, here, just click on algebra. Well, what I want you to follow the directions, it's very simple, but what I want you to look for is new algebra, where'd it go? New Algebra 2. You'll know you have the right one when you have 244 flashcards. You're like, what? Are you crazy? 244 flashcards. But I'm telling you right now, kids, just click on Flip Cards. See how many you know. If you don't know a lot of these, you got some issues. We got some problems. If you know these, then when you go into the Regents exam, you got swag. You're like, I got this locked down. I got it. No, I don't need to know. When's tan's negative? Oh, my God. I don't remember. When is tangent negative? When is tangent negative? Uh, quadrants two and four. But if you don't know that, you're going to have a hard time. I knew that. How about sine of 270 is negative one? That's easy. What is the population in statistics? Population is when you survey everybody. You don't leave anybody out. All elements of defined group to be studied. Everybody gets studied. In probability question that states that five games, what is the probability of getting at least eight? What is the R value? Now, if you don't know how to do that, that's Bernoulli's equations. The R value for at least three would be three, four, or five. And I'll go over that with the probability stuff that we're going to do. One more. Uh, what is the vertex? Well, remember, the vertex is right here. Opposite 2, positive 6. So positive 2, positive 6. Boom, done. Psh, there it is. So if you haven't studied the flashcards, get them done, okay? Again, if you want to come over here, here's where all my Algebra 2 Regions exams are all posted. You can practice these. If you need extra review beyond what I'm doing, click on Topic Reviews. I've got all different kinds of topics review here. Of course, I still haven't done the trigonomotric graphs. I'm not sure why. There is a review packet for it. just haven't done it yet. I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but I haven't. So anyway, that's right there, Mr. Krauss Math. You can click the directions right there for to get my flashcards, start studying those. All right, let's get to work. There's not a lot here. This is a short one. Uh, i got to find it. All right, the trick with solving radical equations is to first isolate the weird thing. If, if all else fails and you don't know exactly what to do, get the weird thing alone. In this case, this is the weird thing. So we want to get that all by itself. So we got to subtract 4 and bring it over. So what I end up with is the square root, I'm going to put it over here, of 2x plus 1 equals 4. Now, to get rid of that radical, I'm going to square both sides. Now, sometimes when you square things, you introduce extraneous roots. So all radical equations must be checked. Lost my train of thought there. So all radical equations must be checked. So 2x plus 1 equals 16. I subtract 1, I get 2x equals 15. So I get x equals 7.5 or 15 over 2. It really doesn't matter whatever you use. If you come over to your graphing calculator and you click on it and say, okay, 15 divided by 2 sto x. You could, again, also do 7.5. It's the same thing. Now, we're going to type this in. Radical, you type in the left side, square root of 2x my, I think it was plus 1, plus 1. And you type in the whole left side, plus 4. We're hoping this just turns out to be 8. Hmm. Somehow I forgot the 2 in my 2x plus 1. 
Let's try that again. Hopefully this turns out to be eight. There it is. It's in fact eight. So it is, does check. Make your answer look professional. 15 over two. Or you can put 7.5. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, we can solve this equation. Now, we got to isolate the weird thing. Again, the weird thing is this. Now, you just got to be really careful. This is like a, this is like almost twice as hard as the last problem, even though they're both two-point questions. So we're going to bring this 4 over. So I get negative. There's the hard part about it. Don't forget that negative. 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 3. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, and I get the square root of 2x minus 5 is equal to positive 3. Now we're going to square both sides. Square this side, square this side. Again, when you square things, you oftentimes uh, introduce extraneous solutions, bogus answers, crappy answers, answers that don't work. Check them. Every single time, check them. 2x minus 5 is equal to 9. 2x is equal to 14 x is equal to 7. Now this one, we're going to stow 7 into x. And we're going to type it in. 4 minus the square root of 2x. Hey, I got the 2x in this time. Minus 5. Now we're hoping this turns out to be 1. If it doesn't turn out to be 1, we did something wrong. Boom! 1. Checks. Give your answer like a professional. 7. Say, bodied, checked it, started off, never have to look at it again. All right, I'm going to stop for a second before I do that six-point question, and I'll be right back. Wow, there's really only been one six-point question like this before. Most six-point questions are logs or trigs or something, but this one, this one's not easy and not bad, though. we got to isolate the weird thing. Here's the weird thing. This radical is the weird thing. So what we got to move first is this minus, we got to get this 11x out of here. Subtract negative 11x. So what I end up with is the square root of x squared plus x minus 1 equals negative 4x plus 3. Now here comes the hard part. You have to square this side and square this side. Again, when you square sides, you oftentimes will include or introduce extraneous solutions. So especially especially with six-point questions, especially all answers need to be checked because they need to get six points somehow. And the easiest way to get them is to give you a bogus answer, like, oh, I know what the answers are, but you don't check them. You're too doggone lazy, and you lose a point. Don't lose point. You lose. This is a six-point question. You, get an, you lose like 17% on this problem for just not checking your question. It's kind of silly. Equals. Now, just double distributing this, remember, squared means we've got to double distribute it. So that means we've got to write it twice. So it's negative, excuse me, negative 4x times negative 4x is positive 16x squared. That's a tricky part. This is minus 12x. This is also minus 12x, even though I keep forgetting to put the 1, plus 9. All right, so this is my highest squared, so everything's coming to that side. So I get 0 equals 15x squared minus 13x. Whoa, let's back up the crazy train. That's minus 24, and I'm going to subtract one more. So minus 25x, and I'm going to add 1 plus 1. There is a GCF, so I'm going to take it out. 5, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Factoring here is not too bad. Again, if you want to avoid that, you can always use the calculator. You go menu, in this calculator, menu 331. It is a second degree polynomial. My, my roots are, let's see, 3, negative 5, and 2. 3, negative 5, and 2. And you get two answers, 2 thirds and 1. Well, the one's easy. This is just x minus 1. And again, when they're positive here, they're, so they're negative in here. And negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. And this becomes 3x. So you do need to show that step. If for some reason you want to just cheat and get to the right answers, but you don't show this step, you're going to lose points because it's an algebraic approach. You must, must, must check your answers. So i got to check 
both of these and you always check them back in the original. Let me erase what I had here. So I'm going to stow two thirds. That's probably the one that doesn't work anyway, right? Because it's a fraction. Two divided by three, stow x. I mean, there's like a 95% one of these things ain't going to work because it is a uh, six point question. So there's a really good chance one of these is not going to work. Let me look at my graph here. The left side is the square root of x squared plus x minus 1 outside plus 11x. Enter. The right side is 7x plus 3. 7x plus 3. Oh. See, if I go, I put in the left side, I put in the right side, and they're both the same. So, hey, that answer works. Maybe one doesn't. Maybe they both work. But there's always a good chance that one of them's not going to be work. Now, the cool thing is, once you've done, typed in this hard stuff, you just got to stow it, go up here, choo -choo, click on this, 12. So, we're hoping the other one gives us 12, which it doesn't look like it's going to. 12 and 10. So, this answer is bogus. We've got to eliminate it, and our answer is just Two thirds. We've checked it. We star it. We know it. We completely rocked that question. All right, that's it, kids. That's the end. Hit subscribe. Hit like. If you need these things, get them off of my website. You can either print them or just whatever. All right, toodles. Bye. Catch you on the flip side.